now we all need to stay at home. Well, interesting. Don't go to the shops. Go to the cup. Wow, 45 people already. Hi, Mamet. Hope you're well. Uh, hope everyone is well. Wanna be on time? Seven, exact seven. So, yeah, you know, today's special. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. Uh, you know, I would not miss out on uh, saying Happy Mother's Day to my mom as well. So, Mommy, Happy Mother's Day. You're back in India. I hope you had a great day and uh, hope uh, you know you had uh, an amazing time. Uh, uh, so we're ready to go guys you know we're going to do some uh, amazing food today uh, away from Indian not an Indian meal today it's uh, something completely different we're going to do some Lebanese food uh, meze platter basically all right with falafel hummus a lot of uh, vegetables cheese uh, so I hope you all love it enjoy it and you know um, and you know we we'll just crack with it we'll just wait for a few more minutes see if more people are joining in i've got a lot of people who said we'll join in so let's wait a minute and then start mamit mm, everything okay awaaz theek aa rahi hai clear hai guys can you all hear me properly all clear sound everybody is there can we start with it yes okay I can get some comments. Everybody going good. How was the Mother's Day? Have you all enjoyed? Sub, um, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed Bhai. All good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's start with the first recipe. What we're going to do first? We're going to make some uh, falafel uh, base and leave it in the fridge for a while. So you know, make some base, leave it in the fridge, let it settle in, and uh, then cook it once our hummus is ready. Once the hummus and falafel is ready, we'll plate it on a nice platter with a lot of um, different veggies and fruits. Uh, uh, let me show you the ingredient for the first first uh, first item. So I've got some soaked chickpeas, not boiled, just soaked. Baking powder, bit of soda powder, uh, some coriander and some parsley, lemon. Chilies, garlic, onion, salt, bit of red chili powder, coriander powder, and jeera powder, cumin powder. Clear volume, thank you. So, very, 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 very simple, very easy. As I told you guys last time as well, I live by myself, I'm alone, so I don't like to cook a lot. You know, I've got restaurants, so fortunately, I eat there. But when I cook, I like to cook simple things, easy things, and you know, Hi Amit, how are you? Kiran is watching. Okay, Kiran, great. Um, you know, I like to cook simple things, things which are very easy to do, things which can be done within 15-20 minutes and uh, healthy and which are great to eat as well. So, you know, we'll start with this. Um, so, if you've got a food processor, best thing ever. I don't have a food processor. I'm going to try to make it with a hand blender. And uh, I tried it in the after it came out absolutely amazing. So, I don't see a problem. Uh, if you don't have a food process, you can make it with a blender. So let's start. Chickpeas, the main ingredient. This are, remember, these are soaked chickpeas, not baked. So make sure soaked chickpeas. All right, onions. Garlic, Gunjan Shukla. Hi, thanks for the recipe. Great, enjoy Gunjan. Hope you like it. So our, our good ingredient is chili, an amazing chili. So definitely use chili, please. 
gets a good kick going to the hummus. All right, and lemon juice, absolutely amazing lemon juice. Make sure you use a strainer so there is no seeds going through, you know? As simple as it is, next stage where we put a bit of spices to it and make it flavorful now. So, half a pound of salt. I eat less salt, so please, salt is something that you use according to your own ways. Coriander powder, a nice spoon of coriander powder. Cumin powder. And the last two things is, Parsley. What's the point if there is no parsley in it, eh? The, one of the main ingredient Italian parsley. A nice lot of parsley. And I'll put a bit of coriander, not a lot of coriander because I've got coriander powder already there, but a very little of coriander. It doesn't need to be very finely chopped as you know it's going to be the same thing in or out so don't worry about it that's everything ready don't put any water because we don't we need a very good consistency we don't need it very mashy we need it nice and you know coarse so don't don't put any water in it and then just go for it At this stage, I'm going to give it a good mix. I'm going to make it up and down. So, you know. It looks good already. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bit of a flour now just to make sure it binds in well. Yes, for hummus, I don't use tahini. I'm going to do hummus as well in a minute, but it won't be tahini. I'll show you an easy way of doing it.
So I'm really happy the way it's turned out. It's nice and coarse if you had to see. Great consistency. No big lumps. Just the way I wanted it. So it's good to go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bit of soda now. Very little, very little of it. So I'm going to pull it all out. So amazing, first part done, uh, falafel base ready, it just needs to go in the fryer, we're going to let it settle for a few minutes and then put it in the fire fryer. Uh, we enjoy cooking with you this morning, making vegan omelette, oh great, thank you very much Sarah, that was good. Sarah will eat the recipe, um, if you want I'll send you the recipe for this, don't worry at all. Uh, so you know what, what's your favorite thing, you know what do you guys like, looks tasty, thank you Kajal. Tell me what do you guys like, tell me about you, you know, um, what is your favorite apart from Indian, is there anybody who enjoys uh, Lebanese, is there anybody enjoying, uh, uh, I don't know, Italian, Any, anything else, just, uh, you know, what do you like apart from Indian food, is it just Indian, because I know my parents, they would not eat anything apart from Indian, if it's Indian, then it's a meal, otherwise it's not a meal, so what do you guys like, is there anything else that you like apart from Indian? So I'll cover this and it goes in the fridge now for the time when we're ready with our hummus. So till then, fridge it off. Great, very easy, first part done, falafel ready to go in the fryer, absolutely easily done. What are we on time? First 15 minutes gone, that's alright. Um, next one is hummus, if you have falafel you need hummus right? Um, the best part about this both dish is you can do so many things. You can make a mezze platter, you can make a wrap, you can make it in pita bread. There's so many things you can use it in. So, you know, I'll leave it to you what you want to use it in. I'm going to make a nice mezze platter out of it. So, you know, uh, enjoy it. So, somebody asked me a question about tahini earlier. Do I use tahini? I don't use tahini. Wow, hummus is my favorite. Great, Mamit, my favorite too, and very healthy as well. Um, so I don't use tahini but a simpler way and easy way to do instead of tahini is just use some sesame seeds directly into your uh, you know hummus base and that will just make it very very simple and very very easy. So now these are the soaked chickpeas which have to go away now. These chickpeas are no good anymore so let it go. Now this is boiled chickpeas okay look at this just breaks off okay so straight on into the boiled chickpeas so I have made a lot of chickpeas but I'm going to use it into uh, making some chana masala tomorrow if anybody's interested I'll go live for that as well but uh, for the time being yeah it's just uh, hummus for the minute So again, your chickpeas is here, favorite ingredient, don't miss out your chili. That chili gives an amazing kick to hummus. I know people, some people use chili, some don't, but I would recommend putting a chili in your hummus. Absolutely amazing. Chili, okay, garlic, couple of cloves. The best part is most of the things for both of it, 
is chana masala on it okay tomorrow chana masala duchess um so most of the things that you use for both the items are so same like garlic ch uh, chickpeas chili lemon um, the only couple of different items for this one is um, sesame seed and um, and a bit of yogurt i bought some vegan yogurt I'm, i i like yogurt because it makes it nice and creamy so yeah garlic i put two if you like more add more garlic you know so oh sorry it's on me wrong place okay so so far i've got chickpeas in it boiled chickpeas nice soft boiled chickpeas i've got garlic in it i've got chilies in it all right amazing next one lemon can't miss out the lemon and make sure when you have lemon you've got a strainer as well so no seeds go through actually i got a really good idea so what i'm going to do i'm going to add more chickpeas i'm going to make a bit bit more so i can give you two different varieties of uh, hummus so i'm going to add a bit more chickpeas into this so you get a couple of more varieties in it if the chickpeas goes more more goes the chili more goes the garlic I like garlic. I you know you can even roast the garlic and um, that tastes very good. Roasted garlic and chickpeas superb it tastes. Yeah. Again back to the powders. Bit of coriander. Cumin powder. last but not the least salt to taste the other two ingredients are sesame seed go for it and a dollop of yogurt i absolutely love yogurt in my food so a bit of yogurt it just makes it more creamier the whole hummus and then the last part you can't go wrong with olive oil amazing add some ice devang sir okay harish bhai thank you very much i will do that Arish just on your recommendation a bit of ice Basically ice just melts the hummus to go more fluffier and nice so not a bad not a bad thing to add ice you can add ice to your hummus Ready to go The good part is we're going to make two recipes from one yogurt. I'm going to try it. Let's see how it goes.
just mix it well so you get it you know it just starts grinding everywhere then It's better to use a food processor, it's very hard to make it in a mixer, but food processor does it very well. What I'll do, I'm going to add a bit of water to it. It's going well, you know I can see the consistency going better and better. Maybe a bit of water would help me with this. And a bit of stir. For some reason it's not doing what it's supposed to do but you know what, it's going better and better every time I'm opening it and mixing it together. I think I'd be better off using a hand blender than this, but uh, nevertheless, let me just pull it out. So good, very much there, you know, with the consistency, hummus, it could be a bit more smoother, but I'm happy with this as well, you know, but what you can do, you could do a bit different to this now. I'm just going to wash the pot in just one second, I'll be back for you.
So let's say if you want a bit of color in your hummus, yeah. Add a bit of water. It's too thick. Okay. I'm gonna add a bit of beetroot to make give it a bit of color too as well. So I'm actually happy with this one. This has come out very good. It can be a bit more smoother, but I don't want it smoother because uh, I want to do the plating. So this will help me with the plating. So I don't want to make it any more smoother. Let's try it. Wow, wow. Mm. So I've got two of my hummus is ready. One is a beetroot one, one is a normal hummus. We'll go to the next part now. Add water, add oil. You know what? Perfect. So I've got this pan ready to go now with the oil. Put oil in olive oil. Okay, I'll add some olive oil. Remember the base we made for falafel? We're gonna fry the falafel now. The oil is ready, falafel is ready to go. Okay. You take little by little, make some patty. So that was the falafel that we made earlier.
We we'll leave it to cook for a few minutes. Let it just go nice, golden brown. So I added a bit of oil and I've got it going. So that's good. Let's see if this falafel one side is ready to go. Yeah, it's happening good. So what did you do on your Mother's Day? What was it? Was how was exciting was it? What did you do for your mother? Uh, oil isn't hot yet. Oil isn't hot yet. It's nice and hot now, Kala. Oh. So, what did you do for Mother's Day? How was it? Did you guys enjoy it? Had fun? Add some oil, Devang. I have added oil, it's done. Okay, we gone into Lebanese, added a bit of oil and got it done. We'll plate it now in a bit. Where is it? Make some. We got 25 minutes to go. So tell me, how was your Mother's Day? What did you guys do? I missed the initial bit. Good, you missed it. There were a lot of glitch over there, so that's nothing much you have missed. Continue from here. You're gonna do a nice plating, so you're gonna enjoy it. So don't worry about it. Oil isn't hot yet. Okay, anything? Guys, say something. Is Zia open today? No, Zia is not open today. Zia would be open from 14th. We're going to open Zia on 14th. We're going to open both Zia and Bhajipala from 14th. Zia is not open. Yes, Rubina, thank you. So falafel is coming out really good. I can see the color, it's amazing. I gained loads of calories on Mother's Day. That's good, Palak. You've been, uh, I think your kids have done well for you. How? How did you gain weight? Yeah, what did you eat, Palak?
probably a couple of more minutes and our what are our uh, falafels would be ready Grab some falafel for us from Devan, please. So if you see falafel are nice and brown, I'll take them off now. So I've got, for plating I've got a few things over here, some dried fruits, cherry tomatoes, celery, carrot, cucumber, feta cheese and avocado. I've got a nice platter as well, all set to go. So we're going to chop a few of them in nice sticks so that they can go on top of the platter. Avocado I'm going to leave the skin on avocado because it might get messier if I take the skin off from avocado so I won't take it off Great, most of our veggies are ready. Let's plate it up. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go, we're back on. So let's plate it up. The first one, the beetroot one, beetroot hummus. The reason I wanted it thick because it's my platter. If I have it runny, it will all go out. So not much. So that's beetroot, olive oil and sesame seeds, some cherry tomatoes, cucumber, celery, carrots, the falafel that you made. Avocado Reddish Few dry fruits, feta cheese, Again on feta cheese I'll add a drizzle of olive oil, very very little but really goes well. And a bit of mint, so I've chopped some mints earlier. Then you got the other hummus, the plain one. Again, I've kept it thick, I've not made it very, very. Bit of olive oil. And a sprinkle of red chili powder. So that's my platter ready for dinner. Let me show you the platter. So that's hummus with beetroot. So again plain hummus, a bit of feta cheese, falafel, uh, your uh, uh, reddish avocado, few dry fruits, celery, tomatoes, cucumber and a beetroot uh, hummus. Guys what do you think? Is it good? Looks yummy, thank you Rubina. So So I've got another surprise. I think I've got some time left, isn't it? Kitna? I've got 10 minutes. I've got another surprise because it's Mother's Day. Ah. 
Wow, this has been tough, man. Going out of your zone, you know, I'm normally a curry guy, but uh, this one was uh, completely different, making Lebanese. So, yeah, the platter is all set. It's very much on the board. Let's eat together. Oh, thank you very much, Virji. So, come join me, but I've got a surprise before you all go. I made some faluda the other day. There's a bit of leftover. I'm going to quickly assemble a nice glass of faluda for you all. So that would be my dinner and a dessert for Happy Mother's Day. So give me two seconds, I'll get the faluda going for you. Looks young, thank you, Shaddam is three. Rockstar, thank you, Virji. So who wants some faluda? I bet every Indian house has this. I've got one in it as well. I'm gonna get some quick dry fruits going in it. Three. So it's, this one is especially for mothers, you know, easy faluda recipe, go buy some kulfi, get some jelly, get some save and go for it, you know, I made it last week, you can follow it on my uh, YouTube channel, Remedies by Restauranter, and you can see this whole recipe there, but absolutely easy and easy to do. Got some kulfi, so kulfi is ready to go. One of the must with faluda is a rose syrup. Sabja. Let's get going. So this will just make the glass look better. A bit of dry fruits in the bottom that gives us the nice crunch when you reach the bottom end. Save. Some tukmuriya, uh, basil seeds, tulsi seeds, nice fluffy ones. Your kulfi time. Kulfi. Got this nice raspberry jelly that I made the other day. This is sweet milk with uh, sugar and uh, dry fruits in it. We'll do another round of the same things now. Save.
See ya. Coffee. Who wants some? A nice faluda. So let me show you what we did today. How are we on time? Perfect, we are good on time as well. Let me show you what we did today and tell me what do you guys think. Where do you get the dessert ingredient? You get it from any Indian stores. So nice hummus platter and a kulfi faluda to go with it. Any comments, any feedbacks, any questions, please ask. It's been a task today. Look at the layers in it. Jelly, milk, kulfi on top, some dry fruits. So, what do you think? Looks amazing. Thank you, Angie. Anyone else? Any questions? Any feedbacks? I'll be going in two minutes. Is there anything you want to ask? Any qu anything, anything, please ask. I hope you enjoyed this. Looks amazing. Thank you, looks yum. Thank you, thank you, Sulu. All right, I think we are good on time to go. So, thank you very much for joining me. It's been great. This has been really out of my zone, but you know what? It's turned out well, I think. So it's turned out very well, not well. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this now. Anyone, anybody wants to join, jump in. Uh, and I'll see you next Sunday, hopefully. Uh, till then, take care of yourself. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Uh, stay safe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mame. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe, stay happy, and you know, deal with the COVID situation in a good way, uh, in a positive way, I would say. So take care till then. Bye-bye. It was a great session. Thank you, Mamet. Bye. Take care, guys. Enjoy. Bye.